people, how's it going? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This is a video I wanted to do for a long time. We want to know if we're missing something. When we send a signal wirelessly through the air, if we're losing any quality, anything that we're missing, I'm going to put it to the test. Right now we're listening to the Sanken CS3E. It's going hardwired through the Mix Pre 6 at the moment. It's going to the channel number one in the Mix Pre 6. I'm, I'm recording right now at a 48 kilohertz, 24 bit, because that's the normal situation where you record dialogue. Maybe if we start doing sound effects or something like that when we need more fidelity but this is just gonna be mainly for dialogue electrosonics hma transmitter plug on transmitter and the rose new shooter kit two transmitters the HMA is the new, uh, the new plug-on transmitter they do, Electrosonics, because it covers three blocks. It's a wideband transmitter. And this guy works in the open spectrum. This is what professionals use. Entry-level kit, I would say. So, yeah, I'm going to be testing those two against a professional XLR cable. This is a Canary XLR cable. And then we'll see if we're losing some fidelity. Curious to see what's going to happen, honestly, because... Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen here, honestly, I don't know. So I'm just going to talk to this, uh, to the microphone right now, so you guys get familiarized with how the, this one sounds. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with something so we have a, a reference to what we're going to be comparing these two, right? So, well, I'm going to do the basics. I'm just going to count to 10. I'm going to have 5 seconds of silence, and then we'll project a little more. Alright, so, I'm just going to keep be quiet for a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit! Hit! Hello! 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 I'm projecting pretty loud right now. This is going hardwired right now. I'm using an XLR cable. Going through the Mix Pre 6, channel number 1. And then in there, if you guys want to know, I have a low cut at 80 hertz. I, I have engaged the limiters in the machine. And that's pretty much all I'm doing. The microphone is just outside of the shot here. Mm, my hard drives are still on. My computer is still on. So it's not a quiet, super quiet environment. But this is what we're dealing with right now. I honestly like how free I am with these guys when I'm when I'm rocking these guys. But uh, uh, yeah, some Sometimes you have to use the XLR cable because there's no other way. I'm not against cables, I'm just, I really want to see if we are actually losing something. Okay guys, so now I'm going to switch to the road link and then we'll see how that one sounds, okay? Hey, so this is now the road link. We have the same settings, um, 80 hertz low cut. The gain, surprisingly, I had to crank it up a little more. So now I got I got it at 30 dB on the Mix Pre 6. Sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a, it sounds, it's, it's getting signal, right? So that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey! Hey! Hello! Hello! Hey! I think I'm projecting at the same level as what I was doing with the cable. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is how it sounds with the road link. Kind of debating what to do right now with my wireless situation. If I should get those um, SMD WSDs, the SMQBs with wideband transmitters. Have you guys seen them? Uh, I kind of like them. Maybe I can borrow some. I'm going to see if uh, True Audio or Studio Economic wants to lend me some. All right, so now let's just switch to the HMA and then we'll see what's up with that guy. This is the Electrosonics HMA transmitter going through um, Sound Devices Mix Pre 6. I'm using the Sanken CS3E a shotgun microphone. Well, we, what I want to find out is if we're losing fidelity when we send sounds through the air. Because you got to understand that it's kind of like magic, bro. How good could it be, right? Like, honestly, if you think about it, it's kind of like mind-blowing, right? At least in my opinion, because this is like magic to me. Like, when we have two things communicating with each other, it's like kind of magic for me. If you understand the science behind it, it's not actually magic. It's pretty actually logical. But if you absolutely don't know how these things work, it's kind of like magic, honestly, in my opinion. The first time I actually encountered these things, I was like, God damn, that's... So when I come to realize that the radio frequencies is actually a pretty, pretty cool thing, but a lot of people think that you're going to be losing quality when you send it through the air. You got to understand, it's flying right now. The signals are flying here. 
I'm flying, bro. Like I have my XLR cable plugged in in there, and I just plugged my transmitter HMA to the XLR. This is the transmitter, Lecture Sonics HMA. Pretty fine piece of equipment, pretty solid. Full metal body, instead of the road new shooter cable, which is all plastic. If I also have a video comparing these two, I'm gonna leave a link as well, as well here, over here. This has been a really requested video. You guys really want to know how, what's the difference, right? Because guessing that in some parts of the world, people do things differently, right? So for me, when all the sets that I've worked on, which is mainly independent work and some still big films, but independent, right? We usually only always use these guys, the Electrosonics HMAs. So yeah, guys, this is how the Electrosonics sounds like. I'm going to be counting to 10 and then I'm going to be quiet. And then I'm going to start screaming like crazy to see how these guys compress sounds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also for this one, I have to crank the gain down to 26 on the Mix Pre 6. Uh, and on the transmitter I have audio level 15. On the transmitter I got zero. Hey! 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 Hello! Hello! People! So yeah, this is the Electrosonics HMA transmitter. I'm using an XLR cable going through the microphone and from there I'm just... I'm gonna be uploading the files too so you guys can geek out and do all the crazy things you guys do with analyzing frequencies and things like that. The links are already down there. Just download them if you want to. Check them in your softwares and you know, go crazy. They're just gonna be raw. I'm not gonna be touching them or anything, just raw. Just like however I recorded them, they're just gonna be there. I might just delete some silences here and there, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do some naming convention for cable, uh, road, and HMA. So you guys know which one is which. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey! 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 Hello! 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 So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Tomorrow I'm gonna be reading some comments. You could go to the previous uh, comment sec comment video and you can guys comment there and I'll be answering all those questions tomorrow. Whenever I see a comment, I try to reply, but then I you know it's kind of crazy. But thank you so much for commenting. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peace out, homeboys and girls.